Hello and welcome back to this channel. Today we're gonna talk about this bad boy. Now before we get started, there's just one thing I just want to be clear on. I did not make the 3D model myself. I just downloaded the 3D and printed it out. But before I printed it out, I changed about 35% of it because there's just some areas I just weren't satisfied with, which I'm going to show you now. This is what the original looked like. To paint the side is really difficult, you have to put tape on, so I changed it to this, the bottom for itself. And this is the grip. Now notice that I have made line holes on the side of it, and now I can paint the metal sides much easier. I just glue them back on, and now they look like this, much better. Now for the knob, I changed it so it looks a little more closer to the game. I even added some holes here so I can put on some screws to make it look much realistic. Now I can actually adjust it. Now the person who made this in 3D made it into two pieces so you had to screw it back on, but I made it into one piece. Then I didn't have to do this like I did with the first model. It'll be much easier to paint. As you can see here on the game, there are no lines. Now mine looks totally brand new, straight out of the factory. And I like it this way. Now I didn't have the heart to paint it with rust and scratches like it's been through a war. Now for the green paint, I tried different colors. And I couldn't find the one I liked, but I finally found one. It's this one. And I found this on the site called Run For Cover. And they had almost all the colors I need. Now if you press the button here, and you need to choose 165 Mosa Green. Now for the metallic look, I went with this one. And the place you can buy it is at Biltema. Now I recommend you go to the store to make certain you get the right one. And here's the number you need to choose. Now for the yellow cable, I just bought a cheap XLR cable from Amazon. Now to get the form you want it to be, I stuck some aluminium cables into it. This actually helped a lot. Now for these parts here, I just used a house clamp. And I need it to look like metal and not plastic. So I just bend it to get the shape and then I make some marks and then I drill the hole and then I cut the piece out. And then I put it on with a screw. And now comes the labels. And here you can see the image size and the quality of it and the resolution of it. And here we can see the knobs focus lens label. I tried to get the same size as possible. And it has a nice fit to it. Now for the lines, I decided just to paint them. Now for the caution laser radiation label, I just made simple circles and shapes of it. As you probably noticed, there are three different green colors. And that is because I need to be certain that I get the right color when I print it out. Because all printers are different. I use the one in the middle, because it's the one that blends well with the green. Now on this label, the corners are more thicker. And I did that on purpose, because it will be much easier just to cut them out with scissors, as you can see here. Now I'm going to leave you two types. The ones you've been seeing now, and the ones with transparency. If you have access to the water-based printers, they'll make it easier to slide on. So you don't have to think about the green. Now I left a link down there so you can download these labels I made. And as a bonus I also left a link to the person who made the laser gun so you know exactly which one I used. Well and that about wraps it up and I would like to say thank you for watching.